Grandpa here. How y'all doing, boy? You know, back in the 60s, they had a, the, the, the hospital uh, workers and sanitation workers were having a strike. And, and, and then NAACP got invited. And old Grandpa was a young buck. Had me an old 56 Chevy convertible. Had the top down, you know. And I'm watching these people walking down the street. And I'm by half lid anyway, you know. <laughs> Grandpa, he, he, back in them days, boy, he drank, he drank, he drank, uh, boy. So that old sunny boy, I was sitting out there on top of Cardo Hardy's. And I'm watching them come. Here they come, boy. I mean, there must have been a bunch of goddamn people on that part damn line. And up front, there was you know, this old, this old little heavy set fella, and this, this woman dressed in white, man. She had... Here it is hotter than hell and she dressed in white, you know, you know that bitch was fired like a goddamn, like an old goddamn fat man in a sauna bath. Felt kind of sorry for them, so they got up all hard as you know, and I looked at them, look at y'all want a little ride, you know. So they got, they got, they climbed in the back of my 57 Chevy and I'm riding down the road, you know, real slow and they had the crowd behind me and everybody waving, yeah! Yeah, you know, here I am, a little white boy like me driving, two black people in the back. And I got through and went home, you know, and they thought no more about it. Next morning, Mama goes out and gets the newspaper. <laughs> Guess who's on the front page of the News and Courier? Old Charlie Green driving his 57 Chevy convertible. <laughs> And Victoria DeLee and Ralph Abernathy sitting in the back seat, waving at people. <laughs> and that, man, here in the South, that you just didn't do that shit. God, hell no. They goddamn be, be hanging goddamn crosses and everything else at your fucking door, you know? Boy, my mama had a fit. What is your problem? What do you think you were doing? Oh my God, I gotta go to work today. <laughs> oh, mama done gone to work, boy, and them goddamn people in her office giving her hell. Was that your son driving those those people? Those people were in the backseat of your son's car? <laughs> boy, my mama come home from work. You embarrass me. I said, but mama, they're just people. Oh, no, no, not here in the South, they ain't just people. You know, you can't even, you, back then you couldn't even sit in Walgreens with black people and eat. The racist bunch of bastards here, you know. Well, one thing led to another, mama, she ain't talked to me two or three days later, so. Next thing I know, boy, I done, I done cut that out of the paper and hung it on my wall. I'm proud of it. Boy, I kept getting threatening phone calls. You know, people call my house and tell my mama, we gonna, kill, we gonna kill your boy. We gonna, we, gonna, we gonna swing him from a tree. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Make sure you give my a little bit of liquor first so I can get drunk, you know? But back, back, you know, back then, you just didn't do stuff like that in the South. And things have changed, but there's still a lot of prejudice going on. Grandpa not a prejudiced fella. I learned that back then, back in the 60s, that color don't matter. What you, your race don't matter. Your ethnic group don't matter. It's, it's, it's people, you know. You know, you, you got trash in black and you got trash in white. And you got trash in the border jumpers. Border jumpers. Bad. Just letting you know, uh, you know I, I, people write me now and call me racist and everything. Uh, Grandpa not racist. I got just as many black youngins and Indian youngins and and Spanish youngins as I do white youngins. And if you don't like Grandpa because you think he's a racist, all they got to say is, fuck you. How about that? You don't like me, I don't care. This is my blog. Tell you about the time I, t I took a little black girl on the church bus back in the 70s and the deacons that wanted to hang my fucking ass. But that's another vlog. See you tomorrow, youngest, for another vlog. Bye.